There is a revolution in the way that we think. Most of us, most of the time, see the world through a very small set of filters. This is a time of communication, connection, and creative collaboration. You use perhaps one millionth of the potential energy and wisdom that's inside your head. A lot of people say death gives meaning to life, and life wouldn't have meaning, and time wouldn't have meaning if it wasn't for this, the limitation of it because of death. But in my mind, it's life that gives meaning to life. Yeah, exactly. And what we do with life, which is actually to create knowledge, and by knowledge I mean music and art and science. In the science of today, we become artists. In the art of today, we become scientists. I kind of feel like I've stepped through the looking glass. Oh my god! <laughs> there are no boundaries, there is no fear. Imagination allows us to think beyond our limitations, to conceive of what might be and go farther than we ever thought possible. The uh, point is that in order to use your head, you have to go out of your mind. We are not here to question the possible. We are here to challenge the impossible. You have to get beyond your routine ways of thinking and acting and experiencing. The temporary feeling of dissolving in the other, of overcoming one's individuality, yes, is, is the height of all religious practices and the height of great sexual practices as well, right? Clearing your mind, you know, which is a very tough thing to do. Um, I think that can lead to a higher plane of consciousness. I'm definitely not on it. Invent a new story. Invent a new poetry. Invent. I think you have to look for what enlivens somebody, what makes their skin crawl, what is really the source of their bliss. When I say fresh bliss, I mean like fresh from the pulp, like aloe vera oozing bliss. Here's the word, revelatory ecstasy. We have circled the moon, we have harnessed nuclear energy, artificially reproduced DNA, and now have the biochemical means to control birth. Why should death itself, the last enemy, be considered beyond conquest? If you just go with the natural program, the natural program is to get sick and die. I think so. in a way humans, we've always defined ourselves by overcoming biological limitations. Ultimately, in the industrialized world today, the main reason why people get sick is aging. So that's what I want to fix. Throw more money at solving this problem called death. Heroism, a sense of purpose, a sense of impact and significance and meaning. A sense that this mattered because you felt something and it fundamentally changed you and those around you. We will eventually defeat aging. Yeah. And it's just a matter of time. You're I fully convinced. Oh, yeah. We're teaching people how to use their head. You uh, are ready to have your perspective on yourself and life dramatically change because you're going to be a different person and you should be ready to face this possibility. You're euphoric from like the amount of insight that is simultaneously pouring into your consciousness.